Hello, collective. Welcome back. Let's get started. This is Vita. I want to begin by saying your abundance is being increased. So continue to do your work. A miracle is right around the corner. And there is someone still holding on very tight to your energy. But that's okay. That's okay. Because you know who holds on tighter to your energy? You do. You do. You've got the power. You wish they hadn't said that. So do they. Someone is wishing they had kept your name out of their mouth. You are a mental warrior. And so you avoid all fights unless called forth by the gods. Only then do you spread your wings. You keep your wings wings tucked in tight. You don't ruffle anyone's feathers, but they better not ruffle yours. Let's get one more card from this deck. They miss your laughter and your wit. So we've got wit here, laughter, mental warrior. So there is something about your intelligence that continues to draw this person back in. No matter how hard they try to let go, they can't. And so their grip on your energy, while it's somewhat flailing, continues to try to grapple back. They want some understanding. Someone wants to understand why it is that you can't be together. Let's get one more. One more. You're doing magnificently. You're creating your neurons. I just heard neurons. So there's like some new neural pathways that are forming in your mind. You're becoming more witty. Your laughter is louder. Laugh loud. Your divine masculine protects you from the 5D, the fifth dimension always. You may not feel this, but others certainly do. So there is a presence, your mirrored soul, your twin, however you want to define it, label it. There is always a force within yourself, outside of yourself, constantly protecting you constantly beauty is beneath the skin it is what flows blood red and loosens a hard heart i believe this card came out if not yesterday the day before there has been a lot of uh, energy about the flow of blood and about the heart chakra opening wide not being restricted feelings you could be at a point right now where while you're highly empathetic you're not holding the vibration of a lot of empathy for others. Not sure why this is, and maybe you're not sure why this is, but it's for a reason, as is everything. So let's get some more cards. See what else the guys would like for the collective to be aware of about themselves and those around them. The end of a top tough, tough cycle approaches like i said that miracle is right around the corner there is cycles that you have closed out perhaps there's another big doozy that is closing out we do have the uh mercury retrograde also right around the corner <clears throat> the holidays december a new year there's a lot to look forward to, to be grateful for. Stand in your gratitude. Stand and stay in gratitude. Communication is key. We've got new moon in Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> I don't know why I keep having trouble saying Gemini. That's the other day, I think I said Gemma Joe or something like that. It was a combination between Gemini and Leo. So you could be one or the other. Um, sun sign, have that prominently in your chart. A lot of fire energy, a lot of air energy, mental stability, mental stamina. There could be a Gemini that has you on their mind. Your commitment is being tested. Something 
is being tested that has to do with your fortitude, your strength. You don't always bend with the wind, and maybe perhaps you should at times. Divine Masculine, Protection, Fifth Dimension. What can we get for this card? I feel like you're really seeing things from a higher perspective, that eagle eye view. You have an eagle's eye view of what is going on around you and beneath you. You're aware of the darker energies that also protect you. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Full moon in Libra. So we've got Libra in the house, Capricorn, Gemini. This purple is a synchronicity to this purple. So your DM could be a Libra. There is a win-win outcome that is occurring. That miracle that keeps popping up is already here, perhaps not just visible yet. Surrender to the divine. I feel like you've done that. You're doing that. That's something that you don't ever even question. You know that there are powers, forces that are guiding you, and so you don't go against that energy. I think we're done with this deck. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So we got a lot of full moon energy, new moon energy, Sagittarian, fire again, action. Uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? We also have a color sink. Actually, this color matches more than this one. Or no, I think they're kind of similar. Gradient gradient there's something you're moving through you could be seeing colors quite differently you could be an artist a painter abstract painter portrait oils oils um acrylics artistic there's something about your artistic nature that is drawing people in anything else no no okay you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So you are indeed safe. Your loved ones are safe. There's nothing to fret about. You're coming out of turbulent waters that you've been riding a surfboard across. Let's see. You are a mental warrior. Someone knows you're a formidable strategist. That could be your business strategy, business strategies. Count your blessings. We just talked about gratitude, standing in gratitude. You're blessed. You know this. <clears throat> Someone knows this about you. We've got a color synchronicity here, somewhat. This is the goat with the Capricorn. Something about someone's eyes. Could have hazel eyes, blue eyes, blonde hair. Someone likes to wear dresses. Someone likes it when you wear dresses. Count Capricorn. Something more going on here, but we'll get another deck. Release your power. You are releasing your power, and you're doing so without apology. You're not looking behind or over your shoulder. Communication is key. You could be an excellent communicator. You have a way with words. You like to read. You like to write. Oh. Ancient wisdom. I love it when this card comes out. I really do because it lets me know that not only are you on the right track, but you're uh, you're writing your own narrative. No one else is in control of your narrative. You're pulling out the roots of knowledge that is not easily accessible to all. 
and you're utilizing it accordingly through your mental prowess. <laughs> Intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence, number two. <sighs> There's someone that just can't get enough of you. They miss your laughter. They miss your wit. There's something about how you speak that really delivers your message. Your delivery is quite special, unique, hurts, something about hurts, frequency, sound, frequency. Hmm. Your laughter could emit a certain frequency that pulls others in. What's this trying to, what, what you doing? What you doing, cards? Magical space clearing time. Continue to clear your space. The power of three. So we've got five energies here. Number 30 and number nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Number 12, 12th dimension. The initial L is a number 12, nine, <clears throat> two to three, ancestors, ancients, magic. Hmm. You're controlling your chaos. You're sweeping away the dust of the past. Your eyes are wide open. I'm just going to put that there. Your eyes are wide open. A win-win solution. It's already been forecasted. Your future is secure. Someone knows that. Someone is excited about having a future with you. It's faded. The three fates. What comes around. Something is coming around that bend. Could be a divine being, divine masculine, divine masculine, fifth dimension, lavender, purple, lavender fields, purple again, red, three here. We've got this heart fairy mending a broken heart, healing from heartache. Someone can't heal. Someone can't heal without you, but they can, and they need to know that. Whoever this person is, you can heal without anyone. In fact, that's what is supposed to happen. No one can heal you. You have to heal yourself by being open to what is outside of you. Hmm. Anything else from this deck? Nope. The power of three again. So there's something with the number three. This could be three people. This could be three new opportunities. Three portals, three doors, three locks with three keys. Fate, fated. An event is unfolding. A major event is unfolding for you. I feel like it does have to do with romance, but also career. Your hard work is paying off. Let's get the tarot. You are a mental gladiator. You take pride in learning. Learning is very important to you. You could be a what do they call that autocratic or something like that like it's a self-learner but it's like a few grades above being a self-learner like if you read a manual you can literally build a rocket ship that kind of learning what do we have knight of cups it did fall land on top of this or over this divine masculine card this divine energy that protects you, you and your loved ones are safe. Spirit wants you to fully accept that you are safe. 
And in knowing that you're safe and not having fear allows you to be free to flow within that creative mind that you have been gifted with that continues to not just pull people in, but also elude them. There's something very elusive about you. Knight of Cups, someone wants to give you an offer. An offer is being presented. It could be right around the corner, but there's the hangman here. So this offer, I feel, is coming from someone that just is not quite sure yet how to uh, come toward you. Let's go back to this mental warrior. You could like movies that uh, are like uh, mind-bending topics out of the norm, things that others think aren't real that can never happen. It's just a movie. You don't believe anything is just a movie. Everything has meaning. We've got two cards out. Five of Swords and Ace of Swords. So there's a major truth. This Ace of Swords here, the eyes are closed. The sword is penetrating the crown. So there's something going on with your crown chakra. Um, mental agility. You can really switch gears quickly in your mind. You speak the truth. You recognize the truth through the lie. A lie is the truth because you can read into it. Could be highly clairvoyant. We'll get more cards here. So we've got the Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords. Count your blessings. There's a tough cycle that's ending. Could have to do with this Five of Swords energy, this jealousy, this uh, penetration of your thoughts. Someone's been trying to access your thoughts telepathically, judgment, will of fortune. I just saw the word future. We have future here. There's something in the future that you've already lived that's coming back around. This is your judgment. And this is someone else's judgment. You're not being tempted by lower energies. There's a temptation here. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups with the black and white. Someone wants to uh, celebrate you. However, it would it's an investment. There's some sort of investment. Three of Cups. Mm, I don't like this. Five of Cups behind the Three of Cups following the Seven of Pentacles. Someone regrets. So this is past energy. Past energy knows the cycle is over with this Wheel of Fortune. Knows that your will is in the upright continuing to spin in a very positive direction, a bright light. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Lovers, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, <laughs> Justice. You're balancing the scales Regaining your equilibrium. You're regaining your equilibrium after some uh, perhaps even turbulent verbal exchanges with more than one person, it feels like. This could be a family dynamic. We did see the Ten of Cups. They miss your laughter. Someone's not laughing a lot. Someone wants to laugh again with you, the Empress. Here you are, all behind the Empress. We've got, what is this, Temperance. Like I said, something's balancing out, and it's, look at this crown here with all of this blue. It's like sapphire energy. 
you're really connecting with Mother Gaia, the animals, the birds could be quite significant at this time by yourself, a bouquet, something about pink and purple flowers. You could be wearing makeup after a long period of just going barefaced. You could be really into eye cosmetics right now, something about your eyes, your gaze, your neck. Someone likes your neck and your shoulders. Could be working out, she's got a little bit of muscle here. Could be doing a lot of arm workouts, push-ups. The hermit is here at the bottom. So with the empress and the temperance here, this is really about someone being completely off balance. Um, Tipsy-turvy, ancient wisdom, ancient wisdom, mental warrior, warrior ancient, Atlantis, Atlantis, Lemuria, Roman Empire. There's something um, with the uh, lost civilizations that perhaps you should be relearning. And those civilizations aren't quite lost exactly. They still exist, just not in this realm. So there's something about the realms being in and out. Hmm, not quite sure what this is. Hermit, the emperor, and the four of pentacles. So as I said, from, oh, this two of swords, someone's been blindsided. You've blindsided someone. Someone had a plan for you and it was thwarted some sort of way. Huh. Someone could, this could be work where someone was trying to sabotage your work, get you demoted, something about a demotion that didn't occur. Demolish, demolish your dreams. Someone wants to demolish your dreams because they can't hear your laughter anymore. They've been casted out of your energy. Why is ancient wisdom here? This is about learning and investing. Look how, ooh, look at this. She's got a compass making the pinnacle, a maker. This is a master maker. You could be a master maker, red hair. You could be a redhead. The person you're connected to could have red hair. You see the books here, the pinnacles, the, uh, what you call this damn thing? Oh my God. I know this is a compass. <laughs> this has something to do with geometry. I can't think of what this, this is. A pencil, sketching, sketching out a new path. Look at that books open here. Three more books here. This is clarifying ancient wisdom. Oh, I think Okay, behind this, we've got the Seven of Swords, but I got something else that's starting to percolate in my brain. Hold on, let me just try to grasp. Let me just try to grasp it. Okay, so with the Empress here, the Temperance here, someone realizes that you are an Earth Angel, that you have those qualities, that power, that energy, ancient wisdom with the books, with the Maker here. You are indeed a Maker, a Creator. And this has to do with not just the energy of money. There's an exchange. Shoot. I need another card. I need another card. Hold on. Ancient wisdom. Ancient wisdom with seven of pentacles. chariot well the chariot is an ancient vehicle 
gladiator energy, coliseums. Oh my gosh, what is this? Architect, you could be an architect. <sighs> Conclusion, something's closing out. You're moving fast. You're moving too fast for someone. Your development, your spiritual development is occurring at a very rapid rate. There's memories from way, 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 way back that are starting to form new ideas. And those ideas you are emitting through your craft, whatever craft that is. Something about numbers, something about latitude long longitude transportation Mercarba astro transport I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm missing something let's get another card chariot this is also past life energy, six of swords. Whoa, man, arc priestess, ancient wisdom. So you're being led to understanding who you are, who you were and still are, okay? For sure. And it's got to do with travel through dimensions, not regular like 3D travel. This is galactic energy for sure art priestess four of cups boat water or the moon 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 magic you're not hiding it's no longer being hidden who you are oh okay oh Okay. All right. It's not you're not you're not hiding who you are anymore. It's not even being allowed. Whatever uh cloaking energy was concealing your uh lineage, your galactic lineage isn't being hidden anymore. Those that can see it see it and those that don't won't. Ooh. Okay. Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups talking about? Hermit, and it came out sideways at the bottom of a win-win outcome, being in the forecast. So you've been in Hermit mode and you're coming out of it. There's still something that you're working on, that you're being guided to work on. King of Wands, action. It's time to take action. It's time to move full speed ahead in this brilliant new direction. This golden boulevard that you've made from bricks for yourself. Yeah. Where'd that card go? Yep, look. Golden. Golden boulevard. Strength. Mental strength. Suspension, Page of Wands. So you could be a, you could have some telekinetic gifts that maybe you might have been aware of as a child and those gifts had to be kind of shut down, suspended because you were just, your body was too young. Your body was too young at the time. Someone wants to know why you look so young. You could be older and still look very young, but not to everyone. Some people might see you as looking your chronological age while there's others that are open to different types of energies that when they see you, they see you as a very young person. This divine masculine could still see you as a very young person from a past life relationship that you once um, that you emerged from together. Hmm. Interesting. Let's get another card for the Six of Swords. 
Ace of Wands and it's sideways. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so you have been focused on your prosperity, your uh, material realm in this world. And this this passion here that you you've had always is flipping. There's a flip. There's a switch that's flipped. And maybe you have to take it a little slower than what you want to because you're integrating newer energies that are carrying that ancient DNA. Ancient DNA. Hmm. Blood flow. Your blood is changing. Your blood is changing. Hmm. Anything else? Two widgets, witches, widgets, widgets, widgets. Something about widgets. What the hell? I don't even know what a widget is. Is that like little tiny, like if you're a clock maker or something, widgets? I don't know. You could like watches. You could be taking up a hobby that is something that goes way back, like, uh, um, Carpentry, upholstery, embroil, embroil, embroiling, stitching, magical space clearing time, number 30. Suspension. Why the heck is this coming out? Ace of Swords. Inversion, suspension, what's been suspended? Oh, this is all under this person here that misses your laughter and your wit. They've been cut out of your energy. They know it, but they're not accepting it. There's a feeling of non-acceptance. Defeat is not an option for this person. They're resisting this blackout. Page of Swords, and they're watching you. And this, again, is almost like a card of suspension stuck between two peaks in the sky, not able to grab onto the sword, didn't listen to the gods. Eight of Pentacles, watching you work, watching you work hard. Look at this. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Here we've got the Seven of Pentacles, two different decks. The telescope is here. This energy is working on the pinnacle while this one is just holding on to these. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Five pinnacles here, three here. So you're a work in progress while this person is experiencing some lack. And they're experiencing lack because they can't stop watching you. They're too focused on your coin. They're too focused on what you're focused on, which doesn't involve them. Hence, this Five of Swords energy here. So this person resents that you're smarter than they are. You're smarter than they are. And it's not due to any sort of uh, higher education in the physical realm. It has to do with this ancient wisdom Yep, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, again, and Lovers. So this could be a past lover. There's also a new lover. Why is this Knight of Cups here again? I want another card. Yep, Ace of Cups, but it landed here with this person that misses your laughter and your wit. So this is two energies, two, two energies that want to come toward you. One is very sincere. Their heart overflows for you because of how they see you. Whereas this energy, their heart overflows for you for what they can acquire from you. Yep. Knight of Wands, and this person's been very 
shady in the past. Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. They don't like Queen of Swords. They don't like that you're uh, that you beat them, that you continue to beat them, and you're gonna ooh. So when this new partnership does come about, this is gonna sink this person's. I want to say ship, but they're not in a ship. It's more like a raft where the uh, the uh, rope is loosening, and so. If they if the water gets too rough and they even hit like a little bitty rock, the raft is just gonna fall apart. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Then we got the seven of swords here. They thought that they had the upper hand hierophant here. This is my twin flame card in this deck. We've got this etheric chord connection here and then you've got this blue which kind of feels like a ray here so this is blue ray energy yep and there's delight here the card delight the energy of delight came out yesterday so you are carrying that frequency intuitively you know that there's a commingling happening with this new power here, this Blu-ray energy, starseed energy. <laughs> oh, and behind this, we've got Four of Pentacles again. So this person feels like if they hold on and they refuse to release you, then this new beginning can't occur, but they're just mistaken. They're sadly mistaken. Yeah. Ten of Wands, Hierophant again, Four of Pentacles, Strength, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. Let's do a shuffle, Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Someone feels like you're this pentacle, and if they could just grab onto you, their life will change for the better. Someone wants this this divine saucer <laughs> saucer that's being catapulted in your direction and you're ready for it you are ready for it you're ready for it queen of swords landed over here with a win-win outcome is forecasted and what comes around so what you know is that it's your time for good things to come around to you you've done the work you've been diligent six of cups this queen of swords could also be someone that you're uh not interested in going back to someone sees you as a queen of swords they want your cup, they want your sword, they want your light. They want you to feel what they're feeling right now, which is quite downtrodden. <sighs> okay, I'm getting exhausted with this seven of pentacles again. So continue to uh, carry on, continue to carry on. Let's get some final messages here actually before i get some final messages let's just do this ace of cups clarity clarifying further ace of cups with the shady deck <laughs> she can't cook or clean the house properly ace of cups they deeply love you but they are afraid and so they stay away so this person that won't let go of your energy could be connected to someone that they did think that they loved but this person can't cook or clean. And so the difference with this love here is that this is all very superficial. This person that misses your laughter and your wit is very superficial in their thinking and in how they love. They only love for a return. And this person might be very particular about a clean home. They might like to eat a lot. 
eat very well and whoever they're with maybe a queen of swords can't cook can't cook could be lazy doesn't like to clean this person could be like ocd spiritual bounty hunter just flipped under investigation for smuggling this person could be under investigation by a spiritual bounty hunter for trying to smuggle your energy stifle you stop your new beginning they've been trapped there's some sort of energy of entrapment here someone's under investigation why is this queen of swords let's get another card for this queen of swords trophy wife man i knew it <laughs> suckers these people are suckers, man. Fell for the okie doke. This queen of swords is a trophy wife. This masculine here, energy that won't let you go, under investigation, used to be a handsome man. Now no one looks at him. They blame you, he blames you, she blames you. They can do what they want with their life, but they cannot do what they want with yours. They continue to meddle in your business yep we've got this is business energy here you're getting down to business you're focused you're not concerned you're an empress an emperor you've got a lot of clarity about this situation and you have a lot of clarity about their situation they want to know why you know so much about them they think you're spying on them and you're absolutely not anything else let's see why let's get a card for the empress empress beautiful lovely empress you could have a blue dress turquoise Ooh, why would this card come out zombie street drug bio weapon someone sees you as a weapon they're zombified, 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 street drug, drug smuggling, trophy wife. Your children love you very much. Empress, empress can be a mother energy. Your children adore you. If you are a parent, they absolutely adore you. Someone's quite jealous of that. They want you to be under the influence to see things through a very distorted lens. They don't want you to know that they could be in a lot of legal trouble. Something's being found out. Someone tried to sabotage you, set you up, told people that you were an addict. Someone lied, told people you were an addict. Bio, biology. Pharmaceuticals. What's going on? Okay, let's go back. Mergers and acquisitions. Someone invested in a business where the business was more like uh, just a storefront type of business covering up dirty deeds behind the doors and the blacked out windows. Could, could have been a raid. Someone's being raided. Someone's business is being raided. Huh. On the run. Yep, hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. Someone's on the run in the astrals and it's trickling down into the uh, physical realm for sure. For sure. Okay, let's just finalize this, knock this reading out. Anything else? Final messages? Please and thank you, spirits. <laughs> Maggot brain, man. Look at that. Maggot brain. On top of this, someone's drug use has really distorted their view of reality. This person, these people, they can't see straight. You've shown someone what life, what life is and what life isn't, and they want to thank you. But you 
share your wisdom, you share your your heart because that's what you do. That's just who you are. And you don't really seek out any thanks. You just you just do you. Continue to do you. Continue to be beautiful, loving, caring, creative, motherly. Abolishment. I just heard abolishment. Banished. Yep. Morally bankrupt, man. They are lying to your face. So, there's a liar here. We got the Seven of Swords. There's a couple of liars here. And then behind Seven of Swords, we've got Eight of Swords. And then we have this King of Wands. And behind the King of Wands, we have the Five of coin again so and justice someone's assets have been frozen they're a thief and a liar and perhaps a substance abuser and everything is just kind of burning to ashes for this person and it has to do in part with them not being able to leave you alone so that's what I have collective and I will see you guys in another reading soon. Thank you so much.